Good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Rola Rabah. I'm an oral maxillofacial surgery resident. And today is my last official day on colorectal surgery, which means I've just wrapped up 14 months of general surgery and I'm going back to oral maxillofacial surgery on Monday. So I felt that a vlog highlighting colorectal surgery is certainly warranted. Follow me along during this video and I'll show you what it looks like to be on colorectal surgery and how excited I am to finish up general surgery. So usually I get to the hospital around 5.30 in the morning. We get sign out from the overnight intern and then we run off to round uh, with our chief resident and medical students. And then afterwards uh, we disperse. And so I'm gonna go get sign out today. Hopefully my patients did really well overnight and there'll be not that much to report on rounds. We just finished patient rounds. I have a M&M conference and grand rounds to get to on Fridays. We have a bit of a late start because we are in an academic institution we set aside time for um, education and conference and so on Fridays most departments will undergo M&M um, and grand rounds. M&M stands for morbidity and mortality. Right now everything is still happening virtually because of the COVID pandemic. We're still practicing safe social distancing and trying to minimize in-person interaction and so um, I'm gonna hop on to Zoom to get on these conferences. These conferences are super super important for surgical specialties because um, M&M stands for morbidity and mortality and it's an opportunity for us to look at um, certain uh, complications and outcomes from different procedures whether it's a technical um, complication or some sort of other complication it's an opportunity to look at subjective and objective data be able to analyze what happened what may have went wrong what could we have done to prevent this sometimes it's not a preventable um, outcome and sometimes it is a preventable outcome and in those situations we all sit down look at the data and come up with a solution to be able to prevent this from the future so we're not repeating mistakes and bad outcomes um, and again sometimes it's not really preventable that's kind of um, goes line in line with surgery there's always risks and benefits and you talk about all of that with patients before going to the OR but m and helps you identify things that could be prevented and is an opportunity for all of us to learn surgical resident it is no surprise that my favorite place to be is often the operating rooms um, we get assigned to cases uh, in advance that way we can prepare for the cases but also to make sure that there is adequate coverage for all of the operating rooms um, today is Friday um, our wonderful colorectal surgery PA is off today so I'm the only one on the floor I was not assigned to an OR case um, but it is quiet I don't think the wall is wood, but I'll knock on it anyway because I said the Q word and that always jinx yourself. Um, but it's quiet today, so I always run down to the operating room when it's calm on the floor, even if I'm not assigned to a case because in residency, it's all about advocating for your own education and trying to be proactive and jumping into things when you can. And so I run down to the operating room, find interesting surgeries or scrub in where the chief is um, and try to learn as much as possible because this is my time to learn and see as much as I can. And so today is my last day on general surgery. I'll try to hop into a general surgery case. If not, I'll go see what my OMFS people are doing. I just got to scrub into a cool pediatric surgery case a lot of times when um, you walk into the OR you can get lucky and they'll just tell you to scrub in um, and on Fridays a lot of our students are in lectures and so there's a lot more space in the OR and uh, you can squeeze in and be first or second assist so that was pretty awesome I'm going to run back to the floor to do some PM rounds check on our patients see how they're doing and make sure I get things ready so I can sign out on time today I'm actually working night shift this weekend so I'm make sure I get out of here today.
All right, you guys, today has been fast changing. It was pretty slow in the beginning of the day, which is usually the opposite. And now it's picking back up. So I needed a little bit of a refuel. Um, and then I am going to go run and see two new consults. Um, a lot of teams around later in the day. And so a lot of the consults will come in after like 12 or one. Um, so I'm gonna go see a couple of consults now. Colorectal surgery, there's a lot of consults for um, perirectal abscesses. Um, uh, rectal prolapse, uh, there's consults for um, colon cancer, uh, ostomy creations, lots of Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, um, diversions, bypasses, so lots of different consults that come in throughout the day. Just finished seeing a consult and now of course I have to go write a consult note which is the bane of my existence. Notes is literally every resident's horse nightmare but they must be done so after you see a consult you have to write a note make sure you call back the team that consulted you let them know what your recommendations are if you need anything ordered like images or labs um, and let them know what your plan is most of the teams that consult us want to know does this patient need to go to surgery or can they be managed um, some other way so that's usually one of the first questions that we'll answer in our consult note 545 i was able to sign out first because i requested it a few days ago so i am uh, all done officially done with my last day of colorectal surgery running home so that i could change really quickly grab ozzy and then go to a celebratory dinner with chris um, very very excited general surgery has been an incredible 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 learning experience the last 14 months have been amazing i will definitely do another video about my entire experience things i've learned since i think I've seen and so make sure you comment below let me know if you have questions that I can answer um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, comment below like this video and follow me on Instagram at 15 blades for more posts like this uh, and don't forget you guys oral maxillofacial surgery super complicated specialty but it's a ton of fun so I post a lot on my Instagram but also post a lot of videos on my YouTube channel so check it out Oh.